What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video on something weird. So, as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to talk about something a little bit different. As you guys know, my channel is all about Linux and free and open source software, but sometimes I like to show you guys what I do to help myself stay on top of technology that I use for my jobs. And as you guys know, I've been working in the IT field for a number of years. I'm currently working as a database administrator. And so of course, at my job, we use Microsoft SQL Server. So today I wanted to show you guys how to install Microsoft SQL on Ubuntu 20.04 and I know you guys are saying oh wait wait Josh you only talk about free and open source software so why are you incorporating this proprietary software well this is kind of like my version of what the one life with states all the time how I lab every day well with my Linux servers I have to try out this proprietary software so I use that on my personal production server just to have a Microsoft SQL server that I can go in and test out and play around with outside of my job so I can fix issues that may arise by duplicating the issue on my server and then seeing if I could fix it and that's my test environment that allow me to not mess up the production servers. I could play around with it on my personal servers and just see if I can come up with a solution for whatever problem we're having at the moment. So that's why I wanted to go down and show you guys how to do it. This should be a pretty good video, especially if you're trying to get into Linux server administration. This will show you guys how to actually install Microsoft SQL on a Linux server, which is super cool. So let's get started on that. Okay, cool. So I have my virtual machine up and running. This is Ubuntu 20.04 and I'm actually SSH'd into it from my host machine. And this is where we'll do the install. And the reason I want to SSH into the server is so I can copy and paste and I'll put all the links that I drop in the video down in the description box below. But let's go on and get started. And the first thing you do before you install anything on a Ubuntu server is actually update the system. Now let's go on and run the update update command by typing sudo apt updates. And then also I'm gonna run these commands together. And the way you run commands together in the terminal is basically using that ampersand ampersand. And this will run the first command just to kind of explain it. It'll run the first command. And then if the first command fails, then it'll stop. But if it runs successfully, then it'll move on to the second command. So that's what the ampersand ampersand does. So let's go down and type in sudo apt upgrade as well. And then also I want to type in a dash Y at the end of it. And that'll allow us to say yes. Cause you know, when you run the sudo apt upgrade command, it'll show you all the applications that it's going to update. And then it'll ask you, are you sure you want to upgrade these packages? So that dash Y will take that question away and skip past it. Basically it'll answer yes for you. So let's go down and press enter right here and that'll update the system. I'm pretty sure this system doesn't need any updates because I updated it before this video. I just wanted to show you guys the process. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is actually add the GPG key for the Microsoft repository that we're going to add. And that's why I said I would copy and paste. I can uh, just paste it in there, but cause it's a long command, but basically I'll explain it. It basically is downloading a GPG key and installing it using the apt application. And that way you can add the repository for Microsoft. So you can install the Microsoft SQL server package. Now let's go down and press enter. And like I said, that'll install that key. All you're looking for is for it to say, okay. And then that, that lets you know that it installed the Microsoft key. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually install the repository. And this is a pretty long command as well. It's basically adding this repository so you can install packages that are underneath it. So just to kind of explain it, like I said, this command will be down in the description box. 
as well. So let's press enter and we'll install that repository. Now, like I was saying, this will, it will also refresh the repository, but like I was saying, it will add the location so you can install the Microsoft SQL package directly from their repository. Now that that's done, it's very simple. All we have to do is install using the normal app command, just like we would install any other application. So let's go down and do that now by typing sudo apt install ms sql and then dash server and then also we could put that dash y in there and that'll allow us to you know skip past the the are you sure question and let's press enter boom and we'll go through this whole little process it shouldn't take too long and hopefully it doesn't we don't run into any issues but and one thing with the install it may take a little time uh so i may pause the video at this point and come back when it actually completes okay cool so the installation is complete of microsoft sql server on ubuntu 20.04 and now the next thing you need to do to complete the installation is actually to configure it and it basically gives you the command you need to run right here at the end of the installation. Uh, so it's basically sudo and then this directory, the op directory, which and then my my SQL or MS SQL directory and then bin and then MS SQL dash config setup and then space setup. And that'll actually finish the configuration of Microsoft SQL Server. So let's press uh, let's just copy it right fast and then let's paste it down in there and this command will be in the description of the video as well but let's go down and go through the configuration let's press enter boom as you can see right here the first step is actually choosing the addition of sql server and what i want to do is select two because that's the developer's uh free version and it says no production use rights which is fine because I'm not going to make it a production server. You want to actually pay for Microsoft SQL Server if you're going to use it as an enterprise version. So let's go down to type two and that'll select the developer's version. They also have a evaluation version, which only lasts for 180 days. So we're not going to do that. But two is the best way to run it. So you can be, you know, use the developer version and it doesn't have a time limit on how long you can use the actual server so let's press enter there boom now it's going to ask you if you want to accept the license terms so let's just type yes for yes and press enter and that'll move past that part and then it says enter the sql server systems administrator password so just go down to type in you know a super secure password or whatever you want to type and press enter and it'll most likely ask you again to confirm it and let's type that in again, press enter, and then it'll finish the configuration of SQL Server for us. Now, this may take a little time as well, but I'll leave it up so we can see how long it actually takes. So, and as you can see, it says setup has completed successfully. Uh, SQL Server is now starting. So you should have SQL Server running on the server. And the way we could check that is actually by using systemctl. So we could type uh, system CTL status and then MS SQL and we could tab it out and press enter and that'll let us know that it's actually active and running. So we have Microsoft SQL Server running on this Ubuntu 20.04 server. So that's super cool. Now, the next thing you want to do is be able to actually connect to the Microsoft SQL Server. And what you need to do is install Microsoft SQL tools. And this requires you to actually add another repository. So let's go down and do that now. Like I said, I'm gonna put the links down to this in the description, but let's add the other repository and then we can install our tools. Uh, now let's press enter, it should be done. Now let's update the server again let's just run sudo apt updates and that'll refresh that repository we just added as you can see this is one thing i wanted to show you guys 
Um, so when you add a repository, it'll refresh based on those repositories that you added. So as you can see, there's a Microsoft repository in here now, uh, when before it was just the Ubuntu repositories, the main repositories for Ubuntu. Now let's go ahead on and install the Microsoft tools. So I'm gonna just type this in right fast, but sudo apt install MS SQL dash tools and let's tab it out and then also let's put that dash y on the end that way we don't have to you know say anything it'll go through the install and then we could just select yes right here this will you know accept the terms and conditions and this is another one press yes and let it go through the install and i'll probably skip ahead on this as well Okay, cool. So now that we have the Microsoft tools installed, uh, the next thing we do to, need to do is actually add a couple variables into our bash RC because it installs the Microsoft tools under, you know, the op directory. And so you need to link it so you can be able to run the commands and how you do that is by linking it to your bash RC as well as your bash, uh, profile. So let's go down and run a couple commands and I'll, like I said, I'll post these down in the description of the video, but basically all you're doing is writing to your bash RC file and bash profile file. So I'll put those in there. Like right now, this is a uh, writing export path and the path to the Microsoft SQL tools under bin. So we want to add that to our bash profile, uh, press enter. And then also let's add the same directory var variable to our bash RC. So let's just copy and paste that as well. Boom, press enter. And now we should be able to run our commands that we can use to actually connect to the SQL server. But one, one last thing, let's just check our uh, source in our bash RC file. So let's type in our bash or C, boom, press enter. We didn't get any output, so it those commands should have ran properly. Now let's go ahead on and log into our SQL Server right fast. And the way you do that is it's a simple command. It's basically running that SQL uh, command, which is included under the Microsoft SQL tools. And then you have to specify the server by typing dash capital S, and we could just type localhost and that's cool and then also we have to type the user so that's dash capital u and then the user the default user the systems administrator account is actually sa so capital sa so you want to type that dash u and then space the user account which is capital sa and then the password at this point so dash capital p and let's type in our password as well and now our password so uh i just name i just put in password one two three and let's press enter and that should log us into it if you see this one with the right arrow then you're actually logged into the sql server and let's just run a simple query we can select a version of sql that we have so we can type select and then the at symbol twice and then type version and press enter and that actually did not work i'm not i'm not sure why ah uh and i apologize that uh kind of weird that the select command doesn't work on a version because that's that's one way i've always oh i know go you gotta type go in there so let's run it again S select then at at version and then we have to type go it's a little bit different then running it on sql server itself or microsoft sql server itself uh in sql server management studio i just typically run select and then the at symbol twice in version and that typically works i forgot you have to put go in here but right now we have microsoft sql server 2019 as you can see right there uh, and it says uh, it was last updated uh, September 23, 2020. Uh, copyright, you know, all that good stuff. And developer edition on Ubuntu 20.04. So that's pretty much how you do it. 
you know what i'm saying if you have any questions please leave comments down in the comment boxes below i thought this was a super cool video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel uh click that little bell so you get notifications when i drop a new video and currently i'm on a kick where i'm trying to put up a video a day so look out for new videos every single day early in the morning but i hope you guys have a good day and of course keep it techy